We have a very interesting question that came in uh, recently. It, it was quite a long, it, it was quite an involved question. Let me see if I can paraphrase it briefly for you. It was really addressing the fact that uh, people in uh, American culture uh, look up to people who are sort of sturdy oaks, uh, the, the kind of people who can handle things uh, they're, they're not whining, they're, they're not dependent, they're, they're not looking around for help, they just stand up and uh, they, they deal with the issue. This, this sense of self-sufficiency is something uh, that is uh, applauded in, in our culture. And they said, uh, but how does this fit with the Christian idea where we should be solely dependent on God? So where, where, where do we go with this one? Well, let me address the idea of us being solely dependent on God, first of all. That we are dependent on God is a fundamental principle of, of Christian faith. Let me give you an example of one statement in Scripture. It says, for from him and through him and to him are all things. In other words, everything that is originates with God. Everything that exists, exists through God. And everything that comes from God and exists through God is ultimately accountable to God. So <laughs> I would say we're pretty dependent on God. We can't keep ourselves alive. We cannot forgive our sins. There are many, many things that we cannot do and for these things, we are totally dependent upon God. However, the question was very specific. It says we have to be solely dependent on God. Well, Scripture does talk about human beings having the ability to grow in maturity. And part of that maturity is to have a sense of independence. Now, let me quote one or two scriptures to you. Let him that stole steal no more. Rather, let him work with his hands that he may have sufficient to give to those who are in need. Now, that doesn't sound to me like somebody who's dependent on somebody else. He's had a change in behavior. There's been a transformation in life. And now he's able to work and he's standing on his own two feet and he's doing that in order that he now might reach out and care for other people. Now, that, that is something that is, it's an injunction for, for Christians to do, to do that. Well, there should be that kind of dependence. Another statement of, of scripture says this, if a, if a man does not work, he should not eat. And in another place, Scripture says, if, if a man does not care for his own family, he is worse, worse than an unbeliever. Now, all these Scriptures are really saying we have responsibilities to fulfill uh, what, what is required as of us as mature individuals. And part of that will result in is a degree of independence. So, on the one hand, Clearly, we are totally dependent upon God for our existence and for our ability to continue to live. But at the same time, we are called to develop a kind of independence where we are fulfilling our responsibilities. So how do, how do we put the two together? I think ultimately and finally, we are totally dependent on God. But in order for us to function as mature individuals, God has built in structures in order that we might draw from what we need from God and, and translate that into mature, independent behavior. Now, think that through. It's not a matter of depending solely on God and walking away from, for instance, the structures of marriage. Two are better than one. That's what scripture says in the context of marriage. Why? Because sometimes we do, we don't, we're not even strong enough and independent enough to build a good marriage. 
well, clearly we have the responsibility of caring for the family. Why? Because the structure of the family is necessary. We can't operate without them. And so there is a sense in which the divine structures have been given to us. God has given them to us so that we can depend upon these things, recognizing that through them, God is making available to us all that we need. For in the end, we are utterly dependent upon God.